at Lake Martin, located in Alabama, and we're going to a spot called Chimney Rock to go diving for treasure. I have a brand new addition to the team, the treasure boat. This is something I've never shared with you guys. Today, the main goal is to take the new boat out in the lake and go search for some treasure. We traveled to Alabama to a spot called Lake Martin, and we're headed to Chimney Rock to see what we can find underwater at this cliff jumping spot. Welcome aboard, hey. Captain D. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. The captain doesn't go down with a ship in this one, you guys, so every man for themselves is something happens. <laughs> we're off to find some treasure. I am so excited. This is one of the most popular spots here at Lake Martin. I know for sure we're gonna find some amazing treasures underwater at this lake. All right, so we just made it out to the middle of the lake here at Lake Martin. I'm so excited to go diving for treasure, but before I do, today is a special day. This is my very first boat. This is something I never thought was possible, and it wouldn't have been without your support. You guys have all had a hand at allowing me to get something like this. Growing up, I didn't have a lot of money, and I never thought things like this would be possible. I would use my surfboard to go across the river to best fishing spots. I didn't care that I didn't have a boat or anything like that, but having something like this gives me more abilities and opportunities to find better treasures and I am so excited. And I wanna say thank you so much. Like, this is crazy. Let me show you guys around the boat real quick though. So this boat's pretty wide and it's great for treasure and everyone else to have as much room as possible. I wanted something like this so, if, you know, all the boys and I go out and go treasure hunting. We have plenty of room. So this was just like an aluminum boat. And one of my favorite details is the decking on it. And Kendall's family actually surprised me last Christmas. They even had Scuba Jake engraved on the side and also on that side. I thought that's so awesome. We also got the little seat redone so it's a little hot and the colors match everything, which is really nice. This can be a cooler or whatever you want. Today we're storing it for camera equipment. What Joe's sitting on is a bunch of storage. If we want to go fishing, that's the live well, but today we're treating it as more storage for scuba tanks. And this leaning post right here was custom too. Kendall's family helped me actually install this and create it, which is really cool. So that's custom to this boat. We also have this canopy here to help, you know, treasure get cooled off or anyone else who wants to stay in the sun while we're out diving. But one of my favorite features is this little graph right here. This graph that's gonna allow me to see how deep what the water temperature is and whether or not I can see certain things underwater like maybe sunken cars. One of my biggest goals is to maybe go find things like a sunken car and bring it up. Being able to do something like that on this boat's pretty cool. So I don't know exactly what all this stuff does, but it tells me where I'm at here. This all looks like spaceship stuff. Some of the coolest technology in the world right here. Uh, we have some seats back here, so if anyone wants to hang out back there, they can. These poles back here are pretty awesome. They act as anchors. All I have to do is actually hit this button and they go underwater and then they stay there and you'll stay in your exact same spot. Trolling motor at the top has has this anchoring system. You can hit the anchor in the middle of the current and it will keep you in the same spot. There's so many cool bells and whistles in this thing and I'm just so excited. Like this boat is me. I know we're probably not gonna be able to take this out into some big waves in the ocean, but for all the river or lake activities, I couldn't ask for anything else. Like I just feel so lucky. But with that said, let's get over to the Chimney Rock area. We're gonna go dive for treasure. It's a little deep here, a little dangerous, but if we're brave enough, I think we can find some amazing treasures. You seen the videos? Oh yeah. Oh, thanks man. I like your jet ski. Thanks, I like your boat. Thank you man. He's the first person that said he liked my boat. <laughs> Before we continue this adventure, this video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. As many of you may remember, I used to post a lot of fishing videos on my channel before I dove deep into treasure hunting. Fishing has always been one of my favorite hobbies and before I was fortunate enough to get this brand new boat, I'd be out on the water fishing any way I could, even if that meant I had to use my surfboard or paddleboard to get to the best spots. Now with Fishing Clash, you guys can experience realistic fishing and find amazing locations all while using any mobile device. Whether you like the deep sea fish, lake fish, or river fish, Fishing Clash allows you to travel all around the world and fish in many realistic locations. As you play the game, you'll catch various species of fish to start to level up your equipment like your rod and lures. Upgrading your equipment allows you to compete with the best anglers out there and reel in that giant bass or river monster you're searching for. Fishing Clash also allows you to go to head to head with the best anglers by hosting weekly competitions and events to hone your fishing skills. You can even make Fishing Clash more social by forming or joining clans so that you can communicate with your friends and compete in clan wars. Thanks to Fishing Clash for sponsoring today's video. You can download Fishing Clash with my QR code on screen. Also, if you use my gift code DAlmighty, all new players will receive a special reward for a total of value of $20, a three-star rod, one mythical lure, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. I am so excited for you guys to download Fishing Clash and start to see you guys reeling some of those monster fish. But with that said, let's get back underwater to see what other treasures we can find today. Thanks again, Fishing Clash, for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to use my gift code DAlmighty to redeem all your gifts.
gifts and start reeling in those fish today. So we're headed around the corner of this island to the Chimney Rock. This is a spot where everyone jumps off the cliff. There should be a lot of people enjoying themselves and this is where I'm gonna be diving for treasure. It's gonna be a little dangerous to dive for treasure but also to keep an eye on this boat. There's a lot going on, especially as a newbie here. Get over there, try our best and hopefully find some amazing stuff. <laughs> hey, this is a pretty lake, man. I could live here. Hey, look at us out here doing boat life stuff. Look at everybody out here. <laughs> this is something I never could do. <laughs> oh, I can boat wave everyone. Hey, everybody. <laughs> you guys, we made it. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. So this is Chimney Rock behind me right here. This is where everyone's jumping off. And in my opinion, I think we can find some amazing treasure. First dive on the brand new boat. I am so excited. I know there's some treasure down there. Let's go grab it. All right, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Hey, that's a good looking boat. <laughs> hey, yeah. All right, we've made it to the cliff. But I have to go down that way. It's pretty treacherous and very deep below me and very scary. Look <laughs> at treasure over there. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to make our way this way and hopefully find some good river treasure. As we're descending into the water, I know it's gonna get really deep. I think the deepest spot's about 40 feet here at this area. But the deeper I go, the colder it gets, the scarier it gets, and you just never know what's down there. Hopefully, right around the corner, we can find our first piece of treasure. my very first Apple Watch of the day and it still turns on. <laughs> Check out what I just found, an Apple Watch that still turns on. That is so cool. They could be still here. That right there is pretty crazy. Let's see what else we can find. I just found another Apple Watch with a pink band. This one doesn't turn on right now, but it doesn't mean it's not working. I just gotta see if it charges. It could just be dead. But that's awesome, right? <laughs> another Apple Watch. Hopefully, we can give this back to the owner. If you're enjoying this diving video so far, drop a thumbs up. And also in the comment section below, let me know what is the best treasure you have ever found. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> so on our first dive down at Chimney Rock, we got lucky and found this necklace, and this caught my eye, but right next to it, I got an Apple Watch. And what's pretty crazy is that it actually still turns on. We're gonna zoom in on this photo right here. If these people look familiar, please give me a message, and I will give this back to you for free. I must have just lost this thing today because it still turns on, but that's awesome. And then right around the corner from that first Apple Watch I found was a second one. This one's a pink one. It doesn't turn on, but that doesn't mean it's broken. It could just be out of a charge. So we'll be sure to charge this up when we get home and see if we can get this back to the person. Hopefully they have their information on the screen. I also found this smartwatch of some sort. I'm not too sure what it is, but if you know, please let me know in the comments below. I don't know if it's gonna work anymore though. It's pretty nasty looking. I found Ryan's credit card. I won't show you guys the numbers, but dinner's on us. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate you. <laughs> Just kidding. I would never do that, but yeah, I got his credit card. We'll be sure to dispose of that correctly. And of course, we also found a couple fishing lures. So we have a nasty worm and a nasty lizard of some sort. <laughs> we just got done searching Chimney Rock for treasure and we got lucky and found a couple cool things. Now we're at a new location where there's a rope swing. I know for sure we're gonna find some unbelievable stuff here. Let's jump in the water and get this thing going. All right, here we go. All right, here's the rope swing. Now, when you're diving rope swings, you gotta be very careful because when the people land in the water, they can land on your back. Not only they can hurt you, but they can hurt themselves. We're gonna have to time our dives perfectly in between everyone jumping off this rope swing. I'm searching the rope swing and these are my best finds. My personal best find, I think at this rope swing was definitely the Apple Watch. It doesn't turn on, but it could be dead just like the other watch. So we'll try to put it on a charger. If we can find the owner, we'll be sure to give that back to him. I found some coins some shades and two gold earrings and these look pretty real. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. I've been told, do we have another spot? We do, we do. All right, so these guys here, they're locals. They're gonna take me to another rope swing and I'm hoping to find something a little bit better as a conclusion. Treasure. What are you doing? But before we head out of here, we have to jump off this rope swing at least one time. It looks like so much fun. You gotta hide it? <laughs> I don't know if I got this. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Dude, I felt like I was so high. We gotta do that again. Let's go! <laughs> So we just got done doing the rope swing. That thing goes pretty high, so I have to be careful because of my bad shoulder. I don't want to mess anything up, but I had so much fun. I literally felt like I was in the air forever. So we're headed off to the third and final spot. I met two kids here, they're locals, and they said there's another rope swing. I've actually never been here, and I'm so excited to see what I can find here. So we made it to the new rope swing spot. They said they've never seen anyone treasure hunt here, and I've never treasure hunted here, so I'm excited. There could be a lot of stuff down there to find. I know, treasure. <laughs> you excited, huh? I want to thank my friends at Big Blue for sending me this super powerful dive light. They have an array of all types of different dive lights. Make sure you check it out. I have a link to that in the description below. But this one's perfect for today's adventure and it's been working great. Thank you guys again for sending it. I really appreciate it. Yeah, lucky at the previous rope swing. Let's see what we can find right here. Found a paw and a Michelob Ultra bottle cap. Let's throw this pole up here and grab it later. Oh. Oh, He's gonna 
jump, wherever he lands, is where I'm gonna go underneath and start metal detecting, just to give a good idea of where people land. All right. So I just had a signal, and look at this, it's another Apple Watch, but I don't think this one's gonna work. This is all destroyed. It looks like it's been down here for so long, but we got another Apple Watch, and I am stoked for that. Let's get out of the water and show you guys everything we found. So at our final spot, we found some glasses, a hair tie, a bottle cap, but we ended the day for the bang and got another Apple Watch. So that makes four Apple Watches today at Lake Martin. That was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a thumbs up if you guys did. Subscribe if you guys are new so you don't miss out on my next adventure. But till then, I'll see you guys on the next one.